Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another small block mining ship. And this one is called the LMC-187 Fragment Mining Craft, which is this lovely thing that I'm currently driving. So this is a very small, very snazzy looking mining ship that features a cockpit that sits in the front of your actual usable cockpit. There are no controls set up with this, there's no cameras to actually use, no remote control block. It's simply there for decoration, which is starting to become a very common thing on the Steam Workshop. But in addition to that, we do have two drills that have been angled via hinges. We've got a fancy landing leg setup that sits right around the very back here, which is very similar to the elevated system that I showcased on the vehicle on the previous video, where we've got hinges onto pistons, onto hinges, onto the magnetic plates, where if you click a button, it'll move out, move down, and allow you to clamp on the ground, and of course to lift it up, tuck it away when you don't need it. What we'll do is have a brief look around the outside, then we'll go into the F10 menu, we'll go and test out to see how it handles. So we look over to here, we see how our drills have been set up and how they've been angled diagonally thanks to some hinges right next to our cockpit. We also have a small little beacon there right below our front fake cockpit just for a bit of decoration. Then round onto the side behind our lights, we then got a button with nothing going on with it, it's just there for some decoration, but you could always set it up with something if you wanted to. Along the side, there's a lot of stuff going on here with some unfinished blocks, sound blocks, we've got batteries, we've got conveyors, we can see hydrogen thrusters, which is the only form of thrusters that appear on this ship are good for both space and on most planets. O2 H2 joining set onto a large hydrogen tank. O2 this section is what we saw just a second ago with our landing leg. We then got some cargo barrels towards the back. We can store a few bits and bobs inside. At the very back here we then got a large hydrogen thruster, one small hydrogen thruster to push you around which should give you a nice lot of speed. We once again have another button with nothing going on with it, just purely there for decoration and that's also been angled by a hinge. And of course ran onto this side, we are dead because of what we just saw. Then moving all the way up, looking down this thing, there we go, that's the top of our hydrogen tanks, with another sound block for some decoration, an access panel that sits right behind our cockpit, for you to fiddle around with. Then moving all the way down underneath this thing, here we go, and they've got a connector to dock it up, some more hydrogen thrusters, which are just enough to keep you off the ground while on the Earth-like planet. Then putting my light on and moving away from the sun so it doesn't blind us, there's our gyroscopes, there's some batteries, and here's a closer look for our hinges that angle our drills. So this thing does have quite a few batteries on here, but it does have a small reactor, just in case they're not enough, or if you need to, say, emergency recharge this thing. So if you're nowhere near your base, nowhere near your large ship, you have some way to recharge those batteries, without, of course, having solar panels just sticking out of everywhere. But anyway, with that all done and out of the way, what I'm going to do now is press F10, find it in the spawn menu, here it is. This thing is 318 small blocks, using a couple of the DLC packs that are listed right here. But yes, for the actual information on this, we then got a nice bit of tidbit on the story behind it, where it accounts for 1.2% of all wreckages found in the galaxy, due to how easy this thing was to build and manufacture, and how popular it was with the galaxy. And of course down to here we've got our features, which is the large hydrogen tanks, our landing legs at the back, our drills at the front, and our reinforced windscreen, which is what this thing is at the very front in front of our other cockpit, where I'm sitting. But what I'll do is just give this thing a thumbs up, which I almost forgot to do. Now it's time for me to grab hold of my character. So what we're going to do now is go through the controls, because there's not too many to go for, and we'll actually go and test it out against this asteroid in the background, see what we can collect up, and see how it handles once we're all full up. With the free camera once again, coming back around over to here, pressing number one, this is going to be for a magnetic place just to drop them all the way down. You will look at it like so, press it one more time, the piston simply retract, hinges fold all the way up, and you just go and tuck up neatly behind this little armor plate right there. We look at it like so, there we go. Just a nice novel way of hiding your landing legs if you don't want to have a bulky one or if you don't want to say just drop down the main body and have flat magnetic plates below it because sometimes you can land a bit hard or maybe you might get stuck on stuff that you don't want to connect up to when say starting to connect up a bottom connector. Anyway lifting that all the way back up, come back around towards the very front, press number two that's to take over your jewels where left mouse button is to collect up all the resources, right mouse is to make a big hole, then of course number three and four is for your magnetic place on the landing legs at the back there to lock and unlock it and to turn them on and off. Then of course just for showcasing sake, hopping out of here, coming into the front cockpit, this is all we can see, so it's gonna be very awkward to fly around if you did want to use it in this. You can always tilt down the front cockpit to look like that and fly around like so, but you can't actually fly around by default, you will need to set that up yourself, because as it is right now, all you can do is well, basically nothing. So you could, if you really want to use that cockpit at the front, you say you put on a camera right here where this light is, maybe you put on the end of that beacon, and well, you can use that to fly around. If not, you just sit in the back here and look at it from first person view. You can just about see what's going on through here, but yes, having a camera would be a lot better. Anyway, without further ado, time to come up to this asteroid and collect up all the resources. 
So moving all the way over to this, we can see just how bloody fast this thing is and how slow it is to stop. I had to pull away from there to make sure I didn't actually slam into it. But here we go, this should do quite nicely. And it looks like I have been here before considering that little hole right there. Coming all the way up to it, first person view, we're now going to left mouse button. And of course from this camera we're not going to be able to see too much going like this all the way forwards. I do have a mod in this world which is causing a larger radius on the drill because one of the previous showcases a giant land drilling vehicle required it and I forgot to remove it. But here we go all the way forwards and of course if it was the right mouse button we then make a gigantic hole. There we go that's a massive hole thanks to that mod. So we just keep on going and collect up until this thing is all full. And here we go I'm not collecting up anything else so it's time for me to come out of this hole thanks to the super overpowered drilling mod. Now it's time to come into this and come into our containers. So hiding all the empty we see in our connector we've got 3.1k stone. We then go on each drill we can hold up to 9k in that. And of course our small cargo containers we then store a tiny little tidbit. But that's going to be more for putting emergency stuff inside such as uranium, power packs, med kits and of course ammunition and a gun if you needed that. Yes that's all we can collect inside here. It's a nice little bit. It's not too much compared to say other mines that I've showcased on this channel. But it's certainly useful if you do want to have something very quick and easy to deploy. Play with a nice bit of resources to save that you spot on your journey as you were to stroll past an asteroid. And just go and take it back to base. What we're going to do now is just drive this thing forward. See how it handles. Here we go. And as you can see, we've got a nice bit of speed considering we are all full up. And then coming to a stop, we're going to be a lot slower. If we were to do a 180, here we go all the way around. That's going to be a lot quicker. So you will have to rely on that when charging on your station or your ship to make sure you don't slam into it and explode. Then for left and right, we are very slow with that. Moving down, and then moving up. Moving up is slightly faster than moving down. That's to be expected from something that can go on a planet. And then speaking of planets, grabbing hold of the free camera once again, coming all the way over to the Earth-like planet. Scooting all the way along, this area will have to do. And that's just spawning it in. There we go. Then after the hydrogen engines re-engage, we can see that we are, well, we're going to come down to the ground because the thrusters are not enough to handle it on the Earth-like planet. So I would have to eject out all the stone be very selective what I collect on here. Yes, you can perfectly use this on the Earth-like planet. You just have to be, like I said, a lot more selective. So what we're going to do to end this video is, well, just let it come all the way down to the ground. I'm going to put the magnetic plates down just for, well, whatever reason. So hiding in the HUD. There we are. There is the grass just popped in. And there we go. So we can see our containers have exploded and there is all the stone. Do we have to say undo that? I try and tilt this all the way around. It looks like we do have our thrusters. We can still fly this thing around. Thanks to our rear large hydrogen thrusters and that small one. We've got our left and right. We can move down. But we cannot move up because those thrusters have been destroyed. As for that, that's pretty much it. What the LMC 187 Fragment Mining Craft has to offer. It's a lovely vehicle to use in your world. If you do want to have something very short and very sweet. To say go out and bounce scout for all patches. Bring back a small sample. Or just bring back enough that you need to actually craft that thing that you're after. And it will do a perfectly fine job at doing that. But yes, there will be a link to the description below. Do what you download and play around yourself. Highly recommend you do. I suppose one more time before I end this video. Slamming it all the way down to the ground. There we go. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.